Uh, what are your personal expectations for for your very first split and for, for SK Gaming as an org right now? Um, I'll answer this very quick. If you can beat Fnatic, we can beat anyone. Absolutely fine answer, actually. All right. Hey, everyone. This is Darius from The Shot Call. And let me just... Um, no, no. Okay. Uh, no reckless to be found in his pockets because you really kept him out of the game in that one. Congratulations on taking the win against Fnatic. Almost twice, uh, of course, and Basically unfortunate. Twice. Basically twice. Unfortunate remake uh, happened. M what what comes to my mind is how did you guys manage to to keep the mental resilience after you know that remake uh, decision was made? Of course, it's according to uh, official riot rules. Um, as far as I have been informed, you know, Fnatic didn't choose to do this. It's just riot's official rulings. But uh, it must have been really rough for you guys in the in the coaching room to accept that. You know. Should I grab it or you hold it? So at the start, when they told us that the game would be remaked, most of the players were kind of frustrated and they like they didn't uh, accept that. They really wanted to keep playing the same game. I mean, honestly, it was really unfair because Fnatic um, was arguing about some FPS issues, right? But we had the same problem. We even said that to referees before the game started, when we were in practice tool, that we have FPS problems. They told that that it's all okay. We have to play, and like for first 15 minutes, basically game was like even, mm -hmm. and then when they started losing really important team fights, they decided to pause the game. Then they did it again, and yeah, they told us that the game would be remade with the different draft. And yeah, most of the players were kind of frustrated. From from my point of view, I was laughing actually, you know, because it's my first game in the league that I always dreamed to be. I'm playing versus basically the best team that I ever played in this league, also world finalist from the last year. And when we are about to win the game, they tell us that it's replayed. <laughs> and then, yeah, we got to the second game, we managed to win and it feels really great. Uh, it was also a very, uh, 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 let's say, a bit more of an even game. The, the second one, Fnatic bounced back multiple times and it looked like uh, Fnatic were on the winning side until, you know, some uh, fights happened uh, around the mid lane and, and Baron and stuff like that. Uh, did you, w was the existing synergy, you know, from the Mad Lions days helping in those situations so you can trust your teammates in certain situations and uh, just fully focus on, on committing in certain fights? Because it felt like, like I, I sometimes look at, you know, bottom tier teams right and a lot of people expected SK to be a bottom tier team and um, when I usually look at bottom tier teams they just fall over and die in those situations but you guys fought back and pulled out the win uh, so that the existing synergy helped in that scenario mm, I think like we didn't really have any good synergy back in Mad Lions like me well up and crown shot because when I played in the Spanish team I was mostly mm, spending time playing with Nemesis and he was the guy that I had the best synergy with. But yeah, right now we are just good as a team. Like we are basically like a five new players inside the game. Outside the game, of course, I'm friends with Wirelip, with Crownshot. But yeah, in the game, it was like a first experience. Like we didn't know each other, basically, like Pirian Dreams. And yeah, I think... Mm. Can you actually repeat the question? It's fine. I mean, you, you already answered it essentially. But uh, hey. since you mentioned it anyway, you had synergy with. I'm sorry, I'm still full of emotions. You know, after this one. Really that is absolutely game. fine. You just beat a world's fi finalist yeah. in your very first game. Twice. So Twice. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, so again, congratulations on that. You mentioned how you already had an existing um, synergy on friendship with, with Nemesis. Did it feel extra special beating him in particular for you know kind of leaving you guys and so? Well, yesterday before the match day, we were actually laughing that Nemesis will be the one hugging me on the stage and he will do his best to do that. <laughs> and today I was the one hugging him because we were the one winning the game and that felt actually great. Yeah, it must have felt uh, pretty special there. Uh, overall, uh, again, p people didn't expect SK to, to come out of the woodwork like this. Uh, what are your personal expectations for, for your very first split and for, for SK Gaming as an org right now? Um, I'll answer this very quick. If you can beat Fnatic, we can beat anyone. Absolutely fine answer, actually. Uh, what is it with with Poland, though, in particular, to that they this country produces so many uh, amazing junglers? This is like a, a occurring thing, no? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I know that right now there is four Polish players, right, and three of them are junglers, but. I don't know where, where it comes from. Maybe because Polish people are just toxic and 
they don't care if people flame jungler in solo queue, they still improve. I don't know. <laughs> did you did you ha did you like take Yankos as a role model when you were like a young player or anything, or did that have any impact on your development? Mm, I never had any role models, but I always like to watch games of MLXG. Mm -hmm. uh, Royal never give up jungler, just because he does so many random things that is so fun to watch. You could never expect what he's gonna do. It's so unpredictable, but of course it doesn't mean that he's a good player. It's just fun to watch. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's an interesting quality sometimes for sure. Uh, we saw that at Worlds multiple times as well. Um, so is, is, uh, do you not have, have like anyone within the LAC in particular now that you've beaten Nemesis uh, and beaten Fnatic? Is there anyone else that you really look forward to, to playing against and beating potentially? Mm, I think G2 because in my opinion G2 is the best team right now looking at the roster. And I'm really looking forward to play versus Jankos on stage. Well, I think that that pretty much uh, finishes from my end. Uh, I think uh, the, your tweet was pretty funny with the it's, it's magenta, not pink, by the way, guys. Um, <laughs> a very important distinction that it's magenta, not pink. Um, is there anything you want to say to, to the uh, SK fans or to your personal fans, to your family, anything like that? Thanks to everybody who supported us and watched us today. And uh, yeah. That's all. <laughs> At the end of every interview, we ask the player to do a hashtag so everyone that watched until the end can put it in the comments and prove that they're the real MVP for watching the entire interview. What should be your hashtag if you could choose one? Hashtag <laughs> RunSK. Okay, fair. Quite fair. Uh, thank you very much, Selfmate. This thank was you. Darius from The Shot Caller. I hope you had a good day. And uh, we'll see you guys with more LEC content. Hashtag RunSK. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching. We'd especially like to thank Krzysztof Butchnevich, Etienne, Thomas Götte, Dominik Bolze, and Lazy Raven for supporting us on Patreon in particular. If you'd also like to support us and support our work and make sure that we don't have to close down anytime soon, please make sure to check out the Patreon on patreon.com slash the shotcallergg. And of course, we thank all these amazing people um, as well. Thank you very much for your support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.